y'all had. I know it's been a minute, but let's get into this video. It was requested by one of my beauties. I know it's a video that's meant to get put out because I have been procrastinating or saying that I've been busy, too busy to do it. But here I am and here we go. Seven habits that built my confidence as a quiet, shy girl. If you don't know much about me, I am shy. I am quiet. I consider myself to be an introvert mixed in with ambivert. And what an ambivert is, I will put right here. An introvert is, I will put right here. And growing up, I remember people just telling me like you need to get out of your comfort zone you don't which is partially true which I will explain you need to get out of your comfort zone you need to not be quiet that's not good that's not going to help you grow or elevate you're not going to grow you're not going to elevate you need to start talking more you need to do this you need to do that it was so many negative things that were being told to me personally by others of why i needed to talk more of why i didn't need to be shy of why i need to get out my comfort zone or why it was always seen like a negative thing for me to be a quiet black young lady let's get into it one of the habits i really really had to hone in on is speaking life into myself taking out the negative self-talk and just speaking life into me when people say talk positively to yourself it definitely works when i was talking to myself negatively I was very, very depressed. I did not like who I saw. I thought I was the ugliest thing walking. And when I was in elementary school, I definitely got bullied a lot. Well, bullied by one person, which is weird. And now I just come to the realization that maybe they were just obsessed with me because it was an ongoing thing. Telling me that I was ugly, I was too dark. And I started to internalize that and make it true without combating it with telling myself you are beautiful don't listen to that person and so as i got older i started just saying you know damn you look good Alexandria. you're the best thing walking in any room in that period point blank you know those moments where like you just you get cute and it's like <coughs> you the baddest thing walking like you forgot <laughs> like you forgot like how could you forget girl let me tell you something. I never had to do too much, okay? Let me tell you something. And talking positive to yourself works wonders. I cannot stress that enough. The second thing was setting small goals for myself. When you see the big goal, it can get intimidating. It can get intimidating for me to the point where I will, like, I'm never going to reach this goal. <laughs> so I might as well just stop now before I even get started. And... <laughs> that is far from the truth but when i set my small goals i can see i saw the snowball effect of it i remember specifically when i said i'm just going to start going to networking events by myself goals so for the networking thing i went to a networking event i don't know the year but i remember the day i said i'm just going by myself i can't wait on my friends to come with networking events to me i can't make others see, see how networking can help you grow and I'm not responsible for that. So that was a small goal of mine. And I have, I will say, I am a pro at networking now, um, strategically. And there's books that you can read, books that I have read that help me in networking situations that help me build my confidence with talking to people, especially with knowing who I am and reaffirming who I am and making sure that I don't show up in places as a doppelganger that is not me showing up as myself three try new things because if you don't try them you don't you won't know that you like them try new things for me was going on a trip with a stranger that i met online because i wanted to travel in the past people that i have traveled with i did not like the experience so that was a new step in stone meeting people new off the internet and we had a great time. My family was freaking out like, girl, you finna go with this train? I said, 
yes and god will protect me okay <laughs> and we have been friends and talking ever since that was the best birthday i ever had shout out to her like i don't think she knows how much i appreciate her coming up with me on that birthday trip uh what's another new thing i started just to go places by myself and just sit by myself i noticed that i would always want think i needed a buddy to come with me to places go to the beach by myself and just sit and read a book I had to ingrain it in myself that I am worthy of living my life and I will no longer miss out on life because of not having someone to go with me. God created me and put me in this world alone and that is okay. All I need is God and myself. If I want to go do something, he's right there with me. And kids, you not, I always miss, meet somebody or someone comes up to me and talks with me because I am by myself. And for taking care of you. I noticed that with being quiet and shy and I also was a huge people pleaser. I was take care of everybody else before I started taking care of me. I know I like watching the makings of Jay, Jay Marie on Instagram. I've learned so much to her about stepping into my femininity, about putting myself first, making sure, you know, I look good, but not just on the out exterior, but the interior as well. I was really, really depressed, a really, really bad. I was thinking of unaliving myself a lot. When I started talking with a friend of mine that I felt comfortable to talk about these type of things with, um, I talked about it with my grandmother. While I was just feeling like I was taking up space that was for somebody else. I finally scheduled a doctor's appointment. My friend held me accountable. I started taking, this is not advice, this is just me sharing my experience. I started taking uh, antidepressants, which I have been documenting because I don't see a lot of black women that talk about mental health on here and I wanna share my experience. And I have been better ever since. So take care of yourself on the exterior, but also I feel like the interior is really, really, really important. I have not had those thoughts in a long time and I'm slowly weaning myself off the antidepressants. So please just take care of you doing things that make you happy. Five, being around people that make you feel good. And I cannot, I don't even have to go into much detail, but this is one of the things that I really had to do an audit on my friends and the people that I was hanging around and I feel like were draining me. Draining me, I did not feel good when I was with them. I always feel like, I always say I don't ever want to be the smartest person in a room and I feel like I was just getting drained and drained. I don't feel comfortable going to the type of places they like to do. They like to do clubs and stuff and stuff like that. I don't like, I've always felt uncomfortable doing that and I noticed I started just going places because I was just how I'm going to get out. I have to go with this person but if I can't go to a place by myself and feel comfortable, I'm damn sure not going with somebody else to feel to an uncomfortable place. Don't make sense. Make it make sense, Adrian, because it does it. I did an audit. Do an, always do an audit on your friends of what type of friend that you want. What type of friend do you want in your circle? And you can do it with family too, because sometimes family will drain you. So pick the people. Like, really think long and hard and write out what type of people do you want to surround yourself with. What does your circle look like? What does God want your circle to look like? What type of people does He want you to be around in order to become the the person that he created you to be on this earth. So I definitely did an audit on my friends and I am so happy with the circle that I do have. I know that I can call anybody in my circle and they will be there for me. Whether it's me listening, whether it's me crying, whether it's me just, I just wanna have a kiki key key that's not gossiping. <laughs> the kiki key key of some real authentic conversation. So do an audit on your friends because when you hang around people that are draining, always talking negative, um, just depressing, it rubs off on you. Like you do become who you hang around. So definitely keep that in mind. And remember, if you can't go somewhere by yourself and feel comfortable, then you probably shouldn't go with a friend. Like me, clubs and all that, bars, I do not like. I'm more of a lounge girl, more of a bougie girl. I feel comfortable. I feel safe. And I don't have to fight for my life. <laughs> Number six, cheering for yourself. Celebrate yourself always and always, all the time. I cannot stress this enough. Once upon a time, I was waiting on people to celebrate me. But why would anybody celebrate 
Exandria when Exandria isn't celebrating herself. And going back to my birthdays, I wouldn't celebrate them because nobody was celebrating me. But Exandria's not even celebrating her own birthday, so why would anybody else celebrate you? Celebrate the small things, celebrate the little things. Celebrate you. You're worth being celebrated. I don't care what anybody has told you that you're not or whatever. And waiting on somebody to celebrate you, you would be waiting to your old grave and in the grave where they celebrate you at a funeral. Now, do you want that to be you? Okay, now. Maybe that looks like gratitude as well. One thing that I always say when I'm celebrating something or just expressing gratitude is, Lord, I thank you for giving me vision. And not only that, you gave me vision, you gave me the ability to see color. And I remember, and I might insert a video, I remember seeing a video of a person that was colorblind and they have these glasses that will help you see color. New glasses, new colorblind glasses, you know what I'm saying? And he finna see that red ruby right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, he finna cry. He finna cry, he finna cry in the club. Bro. Bro, this is, bro, there's no way y'all see that shit. Go, go take a look at Big Red over there. Mm-hmm. What y'all? <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, what? Bro, Bro. <laughs> Oh my god. not a lot of people celebrate being able to see and on top of that being able to see in color so i remember when i went treating myself to some olive garden because of leaving my job and my husband's like where are you going all dressed up to celebrate myself because i'm not waiting on my husband i'm not waiting on my mama i'm not waiting on my family i'm not waiting on my friends to celebrate me i'll invite you you can come if you want to but best believe the plans are still gonna happen and the celebration will continue Number seven, building your relationship with God. My faith is so very important to me. Have I always taken it seriously? No. I grew up in church. My grandpa is a pastor. And let me just tell you, you do take your kids to church. They not listening, but they listening. Because best believe I remember everything I've learned to church, every church song, even when I did not want to be there. I remember Sunday school. So even if you feel like your child isn't listening, and we fall asleep because a grandpa was taking too long. <laughs> Churches would never end. Um, those values, those principles definitely stay with a child. And it has definitely stayed in with me. Shout out to my grandpa's church, Revelation of Simple of Deliverance. If you're ever in Memphis, Tennessee, feel free to give it a visit or join virtually. That's a sponsor that. Look <laughs> I cracked myself up, but I remember I was not, <laughs> everything was failing. My confidence, my insecurities, ev well, everything wasn't failing, it was growing. The negative parts of me were growing and growing and becoming bigger. Oh, Xandria's ugly, Xandria's big, Xandria um, has some saggy moves, but honestly, I'm, I don't get, I don't care no more. Xandria uh, is dark skin, Xandria has acne, Xandria doesn't like talk. Alexandria hates public speaking. 
all of the negative traits were growing when I should have been growing the positive and talking with God about it. When I started to talk to God about things that I wanted to improve, they started improving on his own time for me because I honestly think he was teaching me a lesson of oh, okay you're gonna do that in this and you're gonna you're gonna grow this without me you're not giving no thanks to me you just thank you the stuff or something you know so when I start talking to God especially about my confidence and my insecurities it helped build my confidence because I started to focus on how I don't know how to word it but it probably sounds for how does God see me how does how does God want his people to act in this world? What character traits am I missing? What does he want me to know that he's already told me that I am not embodying? And I actually have affirmations up in my office. I can go get it as well. Be right back. So this is the thing that I printed out, Will and Focus. This one is my favorite that I read in a, I think I read a devotional from the Bible app. And it says, Lord, I ask for your favor and to open my eyes to see it when it comes. Help me to recognize your favor when it shows up dressed like frustration, fear, or even failure. And you can probably add insecurities, not being as confident, whatever it is that you struggle with. And I swear seeing this and even going in my room and just saying these things, it just makes things better. This is, how, this is how I built my confidence up as a quiet, shy girl, and especially in spaces as a black woman. None of who I am and none of who you are is possible outside of God. I want to give a shout out to the person that requested this video. Now, I know it's been a long time coming. Shout out to Sweet Tooth Marie, um, Sweet Tooth Marie 77 for requesting me to do a detailed video of this. I hope that this has helped you. I hope that you are able to see this video and grow in your confidence. And I want you to know that God has made you for a reason. You're the baddest thing walking in any room and it only gets better from here. Okay. All right, y'all. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Alexandria and here you'll find ways to elevate you along with your style. Bye. <laughs> By the way, just got in town, and I won't let you.